Hey guys, welcome to the final episode of the Oars Top 5 Features. My name is Van and today I'm joined by Matt, who is going to give me a brief rundown about overclocking. So Matt, can you tell me a little bit more about overclocking? Specifically, what is overclocking? So overclocking is taking your motherboard, your CPU, your RAM, uh, even your graphics card and pushing it further than the manufacturer um, does out of the box. So. For your CPU, maybe you try to get a couple hundred megahertz out of it. Uh, same with your graphics card, your RAM. Um, so it's just taking your components and pushing them a little bit further, getting that little bit extra performance that's built in. Okay, so then for me as a gamer, how does overclocking benefit me? So for gaming, uh, overclocking can give you better frames per second, right? Okay. And not directly, but uh, if you have something like a 1080 or a 1070, anything in that kind of range, mm -hmm. uh, you might be experiencing what they call a CPU bottleneck, which means I've heard that, you're, about that before. Yeah, your graphics card's basically running faster than your CPU can process. Yeah. So if you speed up your CPU a little bit, you unlock those couple extra frames per second. Mm, okay. Cool. So I know on our Z370 Aorus Gaming 7 and Gaming 5 boards, we talk a lot about overclocking. So specifically, how do these two boards fit in with overclocking? How do they help me get higher overclocks? So the Gaming 7 and the Gaming 5 are designed to be overclocking boards. Um, they have increased VRMs, they have better cooling around all the core components. Um, basically what we try to do is design a board that gives you all the tools you need to be able to overclock. So if you're somebody that's overclocked before, more of an expert in the field, um, you have all the different BIOS settings to play with, all kinds of different voltages, everything like that. Uh, if it's your first time overclocking or you just don't want to spend the time to really dial everything in, we have preset profiles. So wherever you are on the spectrum from novice to expert, we have an option for you to be able to overclock your CPU. Okay, perfect. So for someone like me who just wants that out of the box experience, I'll probably just use one of those profiles like you mentioned, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you can jump in there. Um, it'll tell you what CPU you have. You choose a speed. Uh, if for any reason it doesn't work, you reset it and you try a lower speed. Cool. Sounds pretty simple. So Matt, I mean, to me that sounds pretty straightforward, but is there any risk of danger to the components inside my PC? Sure, so anytime you push something further than it's supposed to be pushed, uh, there is going to be a risk of damaging a component. Uh, there are built-in protections, the motherboard will shut down if it gets too hot, if the voltages go too high, um, but you do so at your own risk. Uh, that being said, it has gotten a lot easier, it's a lot harder to fry components, um, but it is something to be uh, cautious about. Okay, got it. So, for me, overclocking, what's kind of like the first step for me? If, if I want to learn more about it, um, is there anywhere that I should go specifically to, to get more advanced? Sure, so we have a guide on our blog, uh, on our website, and on our forums. If you go through there, it'll give you the basics of different BIOS menus, kind of walk you through. Um, we also spend a lot of time sending out these boards to your favorite tech tubers, right? So a lot of them have done reviews on them. Some of them do overclocking guides. So there's a wealth of information out there. Um, if you want to really dive into it, jump in on our forums, ask questions. We're always trying to help with uh, voltages, what's safe, what's not. Um, we try to give you guys all the information possible, and that way you guys can dial in your system the way you want. Really, when we um, build a motherboard, what we do is we look at giving you the tools to do to create the system that you want. So if you want to overclock, we give you that option. If you're an audiophile, we give you the high-end ESS DAC. Um, no matter what you're looking for, it's there. Uh, and then we try to explain it to you and uh, give you the resources you need to implement it to its fullest. Cool. Sounds good, man. So it sounds like for me, I have a lot to learn about overclocking. Um, hopefully it's not out of my league to kind of learn a little bit more about everything, but I mean, thank you for teaching me about all this stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Van, thanks for having me on to give you an overview of overclocking. Mm -hmm. If you guys like this video, please subscribe, leave your comments below. And this is our final video on the top five features of the Gaming 7, but we'll have a ton more videos coming up soon. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one.